Hi everyone, it's Anthony Stones here at Capricorn Mouldings. So I was on the Titans of CNC Facebook page a few weeks ago and there was a guy on there with this problem where he had a fillet and two different sized chamfers meeting at a corner. He wasn't really very happy with the corner the way it was left. He didn't like how sharp it was still, it has this little line in there. What he really wanted was it to sweep around the corner and this chamfer over here to just blend into this one. So some of us know that in Fusion 360, if you have three different size fillets coming into a corner, you end up with this very smooth surface. Fusion is doing all this work in the background for you to create that. Unfortunately, in this instance, because we've got chamfers and a fillet, we don't get that helping hand off Fusion. It's left in a kind of raw state and it doesn't really look that good. So the aim of this video is to show everyone my solution to getting around this, creating this sweep around the corner, and hopefully by the end of it, we're going to end up with something that looks like this, which is quite a bit better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this model, and I'm going to turn this into the finished item. So I'm going to get rid of all the chamfers and fillets, so I'm going to roll the history marker back and delete all those features out. And so we're just left with this block here, which is a 100 by 100 millimeter sketch, which is extruded up by 40 millimeters. So the first thing I'm going to do here is put the 10 millimeter fillet back in there. Like that. And then I'm going to cut that fillet away. So I'm going to draw a sketch on the top surface. And I'm going to press P for project, which is also in here. Actually, if anyone doesn't know, P for project. And select that fillet there. Okay. Now I end up with these three points that define the fillet. So I'm going to draw lines between them three points, which is effectively going to make me a segment in that corner. And then what I'm going to do is cut that segment away from the rest of the block. So I'm going to select extrude, select the segment, drag it down. That turns it into a cut extrude and then I can change the extent to all. So now, no matter what the dimension on the original extrude is, it will still cut all the way through the block. Right, now I'm going to put the chamfers back in. So it was a 2mm chamfer on this edge over here. And this one's a larger chamfer at 6mm over here. Right, so what we're going to do effectively is we want to sweep that line across, gradually expanding all the time around this corner until it meets this one over here. So I know I'm saying sweep around the corner, but actually, counterintuitively, we're going to be doing a loft between these two surfaces in the end, which is going to give us that kind of shape around the corner. What we need to do first, though, is put some guide rails in place so when we create our loft, it's going to follow the curve of the corner nicely and it's not going to be clunky and straight edges because that's not going to look very good. So what I'm going to do is draw a sketch again on the top surface. I'm going to draw an arc between this point here and this point over here. So I could do a tangent arc, but I think it's a little bit easier to do a three point arc and put the constraint in for the tangent afterwards. So between that point and that point, create this arc here and we'll make it. Hmm. It's actually made a tangent on that edge. That's not all I wanted. I'll delete that out there. Right, there we go. It's not tangent on any edge now. I want them to tangent like that. Now it's black, it's constrained. So that's that sketch done. One of the guardrails is done. That was the easy one. This one's a bit more difficult because I want to go between this point on the end of here and this point up here. Now we haven't really got a plane that's going to join through them two points at the moment. So we can't draw a sketch between them yet. We've got to create that plane. So the way I'm going to do this is I need a line from that point there to that point there. You can do a 3D sketch between them, but you have to go into your preferences and turn on 3D sketching. Um, it can get a little bit confusion, confusing 3D sketching sometimes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a lofted surface. So go to the surface menu and select loft down here. And I'm just going to do a surface loft between this line here and this line over here that looks like that. So what's that getting us? That's getting us this line here. 
and that's what we need to create our plane. So go back into the solid environment and select the planar angle command and we want to leave the angle at zero degrees and now on this plane which passes through both of these points we can draw our guide rail so sketch on that plane and we're going to do a three point arc again from that point to that point it's going to arc three point arc uh, we can't actually select these points yet so let's project them through so we're going to select both of them lines press p again to project Okay, that's brought us two points through on the end of there now that are in the current sketch. So we're going to three point arc now. Draw an arc between them two points, bring it out here somewhere. And we're going to go tangent on this side again using our constraints up here. So that's our second guide rail in place. I'm going to move that surface out of the way now by going into bodies. I'm going to hide that away because that's just going to confuse things and we don't need it anymore. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this again back up to that plane. So I'll put the plane back in. So what I'm going to do is fill up from the bottom here all the way up to this plane. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw a sketch on the bottom. Now I could just draw an arc around this corner or I could project this arc down because you can see that's following the same radius but just to prove it's following the same radius as our original 10 millimeter radius we are going around that corner I'm going to bring that sketch back in and I'm going to project that line down instead so I'll select that line P again for project press OK so now I've got this segment back there we go this segment back down here in the corner and I can create an extrude from there so let's come out of that sketch create extrude drag up to start the join operation and in here instead of distance I'm going to put two object and select that plane so that's filled it in it's got a kind of angle top on it so now all I've got to do is just sweep around where our two guide rails are between the two chamfers and that's it will be done so I'm going to hide that first sketch that I did and I'm going to hide the plane back out again to simplify everything and then just do a loft command in here between these two surfaces and we're going to be using our two guide rails that we made and that's it so something that could look quite difficult to achieve isn't really that difficult at all. The main thing is getting this guide rail in here and how you about, go about doing that. So if you like the video, then please like and subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more Fusion videos hopefully in the future. But thanks for watching.